Hi there, Liz and Oliver here. It's early on Saturday morning and we just wanted to show you something really special. We're getting some outdoor time while Zachary's sleeping. Can you show them your special rock? Mm. What does that rock say? A comfort. It says comfort. Where did you get that rock? <gasps> the church. The church. This was a rock that was in one of our prayer stations, Lenten prayer stations, and Auntie Beth was generous enough to gift it to us. And it's appropriate because we've been thinking a lot about comfort in our house recently. How to comfort little baby Zachary in all the ways that he needs, and also how to comfort Oliver, um, sort of making his way through this time with a lot of changes in his little life. We've also been thinking about how do we comfort our friends and our loved ones in a time when we're not able to get together, or when so many means of comforting one another are not available to us. Something I've been thinking more and more about during this time is the discipline of prayer and how through many centuries that's been a comfort to people of faith, a way to be in communion with God and fellowship with God, and also to a way to be in fellowship with and solidarity with those that are far from us, those that are doing important work, those who are unwell and those who are dear to us. In any case, I'm wondering if maybe you might be able to take this time and think about how you want to be praying for those you care for and for the world. We all might find new and different ways to engage in the discipline of prayer. We're going to be praying online tomorrow. Just one second, Ollie. We're going to be praying tomorrow, streaming online, Facebook, 10 a.m., and we really hope that you'll join us at that time if you're able. But however you're praying during this extraordinary moment, know that we're praying with you. Thanks, and see you soon.